Quadruple amputation has been the best thing ever for me. It has been the most amazing gift, if you will. And I do not yearn to have my legs and arms back. In November 2013, I was diagnosed with strep A. His immune system was just unable to fight. And then the amputation started over and over again. When I was due to go home, I was scared stiff. But also I had a little boy and I just wanted to prove to him that anything's possible. Just because you don't have arms and legs doesn't mean you can't do stuff. I think that's what you said. What was created is effectively a small off-road car for someone with no arms and no legs. Then we thought maybe we could go up Ethiopia's highest mountain. You know, the strap keeps coming back and it could all be over tomorrow, so you should just do it. Bye. Welcome to Ethiopia. Thank you, how are you? Yeah, she's scared. And it's the fact that we've got a white man and a black woman. Well, no, 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 no. We're taking risks. But yeah, sometimes you just want to give it a thrash and see what happens. He tells everybody that I saved his life. <laughs> I don't know what was here before, but that's a big gap. The alternative is aborting the idea of getting up the mountain. If we have not started to climb by 11.30, we're turning back. Come on now. I think all of us in life want to feel that we've done something positive. And we're lucky people. Good job, Al. Lucky to be alive. <laughs>